نحنا uh, why do we have إنه you know, a Thursday and quizzes but not on Friday because this week أول شيء هاي حسن how are you good yeah okay حسن so this week we have uh, a holiday on a Thursday and Friday so we will uh, we will not have any online session on Thursday or Friday but uh, well, this- Just but quizzes on Thursday? Just quizzes, yes. Just quizzes because if we didn't do the quiz uh, this week, we're going to postpone it to next week. So next week you would have eight quizzes, like, or six quizzes, which is too much, right? Yeah. So we yeah. just prefer if we do the quizzes on Thursday and just we we take our vacations. Oh. Okay. Oh. So I'm just going to... Well, we have like eight, eight to ten quizzes more no you have only three maximum of three i think so right yeah miss anna math spanish or english exactly so they are only three quizzes next week you will have arabic and science and arabic and science Miss, this week I'm not Arabic. We don't know. This week I'm English. لا يا Miss, this week you have I don't know, but this week you have math, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Arabic, math. So Spanish. anyway, that's why we should do the quizzes this week, just not to make them all of them next week, okay? So okay. I'm just going to repeat for the last time that now I'm going to explain a new lesson, and this lesson is not is not required for the quiz and the worksheet you don't have to do it this week okay so you can do it for next week next week you can start by that by the worksheet okay is everything clear till now yes okay so Uh, now, as I told you, I, we are going to explain a new lesson, but I just want to ask you before I start, anyone watch the, the video, the, the lecture? Yes. So, Hani, you watch the lecture? Yes. Who else? It was talking about uh, triangles and square and like this. So, it's quadrilaterals. <laughs> Quadrilaterals, right? Bravo, honey. Yes. So you're the only one who watched the video. Hmm? Every day, like everything that they put in the lecture. And I, I know, honey. So you, every time ask me about sometimes. If so I watched the work. lecture. It's talking about quadrillions, I think. Quadrilaterals, yes. Quadrilaterals. Great. Uh, great. So let us start. <laughs> I'm going to share the lesson. Let me just go back because it. Okay, so uh, we're going to take to talk about something called quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals. Now we're going to see why uh, did they call it like this and what does a quadrilateral mean. So uh, first of all, we're going to identify 2D shapes. 2D shapes that are parallelogram, rectangle, square, and rhombus. And we are going to identify some properties of each quadrilateral. First of all, what's the meaning of a quadrilateral? You should know how to pronounce this word. Quadrilateral. Actually, uh, the word quad, you know that quad, you took, I, I think you are taking Spanish. You're taking Spanish, right? You know that cuatro in Spanish means four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Mahek? You took yes. this in Spanish. So, yes. quad, quad means four. Lateral, lateral means sides. So, quad, laterals, four sides. Just to make the word easy to pronounce, they said it quad, Relateral. So, please, in order to pronounce the word, it's quad re laterals. Three syllables. You know what's the meaning of syllables, huh? Yes. Okay. So, it's a quad re lateral. It's a two dimensional figure with four sides and four angles. So, any shape, any shape. That has four sides and four angles. What do we call it? 
Quadrilateral. Yes. Quadrilateral. Okay, you should know how to practice it. Please, okay? Okay. 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 Yes. Now I want you to look around you in the room. Can you see any shape that has four sides? Yes. 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 Yeah, like give me an yes. example. Yes. The picture. The picture. The Very good. The window. The door. The door. Yes, Excellent. The iPad. The TV. iPad you're looking at. Yes. The TV. Very good. The TV. Excellent. So if you just look yeah, around yeah. you, you can see a lot of shapes in your room that can we say, uh, yes, Hassan, Hassan, the bed, the bed. Yes, yes, the bed, it's a quadrilateral, very good. Hassan, I'm going to look at So yes, Hassan, the bed is quadrilateral. So let us look and take examples. So quadrilateral, yeah, yes. Did you see the carpet? Do you have all carpets in your rooms right now? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. It's yes. winter. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. So carpets are quadrilaterals. Do you all have windows in front of you? Yes. 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 It's a yes. quadrilateral. Yeah. Also the microwave. Microwave, it's a quadrilateral. Miss, in the how, we, miss how we say the F in Arabic? In English. Uh, um, um, heat. Uh, Heater. Heater. The biscuit. Anyone eating biscuits right now? Mm, no. 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 <laughs> so anyway, the biscuit is a quadrilateral because as you can see, it's a four side shape. Even this table. Can you look at this table, please? Can you can you count for me the sides of the of this table? Yes. Four sides. Four. 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 Because we have four sides and four angles. Now, can you, see, can you see now this? All of these pictures, as you can see? Yes. Are quadrilateral. Are quadrilaterals. Excellent. Guys, so did you know what's the meaning of a quadrilateral? Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Four sides. Four sides. So any shape. Something right. that has four sides. Excellent. So any shape around you that has four, sh four sides and yes. four angles. The yes, honey. Computer. The computer is quadrilateral, of course, because it's a four side shape. Okay, let us continue. So now we're going to talk about special quadrilaterals. Special quadrilaterals. Actually, we have four special quadrilaterals, uh, sorry, five special quadrilaterals. They are the square, the rectangle, the trapezoid, the rhombus, and the parallelogram. I think you've already learned about this, I think in grade two or in grade three. Yes. yes. But today, oh, yes. yes. But today we're going, but today yes, we're going uh, to talk more about them, why they are really yes, special. No, I don't think it's okay, Miss. Mumkin you kun atamakum bil arts, bi aya shiyani. It's okay. But today we're going to learn why squares are special, why rectangles are special, why trapezoid are special, why, just a second, rhombus is special, and why parallelogram is special. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. So first of all, I want to talk about the first thing to be discovered. The per the first mute yourself. <laughs> so the first thing to be discovered was the parallelogram. So the first thing they discovered was the parallelogram. Then they discovered the others. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the easiest one you can find, and you can find it a lot in your room, which is, Hassan, why do you have your iPad in front of you? Yes, you have to pay attention to me. Okay, Habibi? Yeah. But I love Hassan that he opens the camera, because I like it, I like it. Yeah. So I'm going to start with a square. Okay, if you look at the room you are sitting in, the window is definitely a square shape, right? Yes. The square 
why the square it's so so special the square is so special because it has four equal sides and four right angles so the sides of this shape they are special because they are all equal to each other in length so for example suppose mm -hmm. that this is uh, five centimeters the others the, are five centimeters. Exactly. The others are also five centimeters. All, all of, of them, them are, are five equal. centimeters. So all of them are equal. And all the angles, you know what's the meaning of an angle? We've already explained yes. this. Yes. All yes, these right. angles are right. Excellent. Let us give this square a name. Let us give this square a name. You know that shapes, we can name them. And we know this starting from a point, the line, all of these, we can name them. The angle, we named it, right? Now, suppose we want to name the square. We need to give the square a name. Look, how do we name a square? Do you know these points? What do we call these points? Who can tell me? Angles. No, not angles. Vertex. Vertices. Vertices. We call them vertices. vertices. One point, it's a vertex. Four points are vertices. Okay, just I'm going back. So how vertices. many vertices? Okay, so Four. I'm going to name every vertex with a, with a name. So this is A, for example. This is point B. This is point C. And this is point D. So how do I name a square? I, I just walk like the clock, as the clock walks, okay? You know that the clock walks in this, right? The clock, yes. sorry, sorry. Yes. Guys, listen to me very well. clear. Yes. So this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. You know the clock, right? Yes. yes. The yes. clock have arms. The arms walk like this in the right side, from the right to the left, right? Yes. So also when naming a square, we need to, to walk as the clock. So we start A, Ya Allah. Yeah. So we start A, then B. Then C, then D. A, B, C, D. That's how we name a square We're using four letters. A, B, C, D. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Let yes. us now go for the second uh, quadrilateral. But before we go, just remind me of the square. It's a, it's a quadrilateral that has... Four equal four sides, equal sides and, and four right, right angles. angles. Very good. Yeah, let us continue. Now we're going to talk about the rectangle. The rectangle. The rectangle, it's a quadrilateral. It also has four right angles, but only the opposite sides are equal. You know what's the meaning of opposite? Opposite yes. means those, those are, that are facing each other. So yes. this side here, I'm going to color it in uh, red, is equal to this side, which is opposite to it. Okay? And now I'm going to color in green the other two sides. So this side here is equal to this side. I'm just using symbols, you know? I'm using symbols. So when I say one dash, one dash means they are equal. Two dashes, two dashes, that those two are equal. You can use any symbol. I can use, for example, I can use a circle. I can put here like a small circle and here also a small circle just to indicate that those two are equal. I can put here like an X here, an X here just to indicate that those two sides are equal. Or even I can use triangles. <laughs> I can say that this side is equal. Any symbol you want, you can use it. But in math, actually, we just prefer to, uh, to use lines, small lines like this. So this side is equal to this side. And now here side 
this side is is equal to this side. Okay. Yeah. Is everything clear yeah. till now, guys? Yes. 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 Okay. Great. Guys, and uh, now you have to know that those two lines are parallel. You know what's the meaning of parallel? And we've already learned this. Yes. So if you want to construct a rectangle, just draw here a line. Draw a, a line which is facing to it and equal and parallel. So here two lines equal and parallel. And here two lines equal and parallel. What you are going to get? A rectangle. A rectangle, especially if they are perpendicular to each other. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. So till yes. now we have learned how many shapes? Two. Two shapes. Two. The square where it has Two. four Two. equal Two. sides Two. and four right angles. And the rectangle where it have only the opposite sides are equal and parallel. Only the opposite. Only the opposite. Only all the opposite yes, sides and the are equal. Uh, yes. Right angle. And four right angles. Bravo, Yahani. Excellent. So is everything clear till now? Yes. Yes. Yeah, now yes. Let us continue, guys. Uh. Is a square a rectangle? Miss no. Anna, let me look. For example, just I want you to listen to me, okay? If I want to tell you, uh, is a boy a girl? No. No, it doesn't work out because the features of the girls are not found in the boys, right? Right. Yeah. If I ask you, for example, is the earth a circle? What? Is the earth a circle? Yes. Yes, because yes. the earth, it has a round shape like the circle. So if you are asking, is something a something, as if you are comparing if they have the same features, right? Yes. I want you to tell you something. Is a square a rectangle? When I say is a square a rectangle, you have to ask yourself, what are the features of the rectangle? They should be found in the square. So the square. features of the rectangle should be found in the square. And you square. know that a rectangle, it has four right angles. Does the square have four right angles? Yes. So for yes. the first option, it's a correct. In the rectangle, the opposite sides are equal and parallel. Okay? Is the square, does the square have uh, opposite sides equal and parallel? No. Bala, kif no? Yes. Bala. Sah? Sah? Yes. Okay. So is a square a rectangle? Yes. 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 So a square is a rectangle plus four equal sides. Did you get it? So all the oh. features. So all the features of the rectangle are found in the square. So yes, a square is a rectangle. Yani hala Anna, I just want to, to tell you something. I'm going to stop now. Look at this screen because you need to, to, to understand this. I'm going to construct two shapes. This is a square and this is a rectangle. Is it clear? Yes, yes. Okay, this is, let me just write inside it that this is a rectang rectangle, okay? And this is a square. Let us write the features of the rectangle. What are the features of the rectangle? One, four right angles. So the first feature is that it has four right angles. Do you agree? Yes. yes. Number two, what do they have special? The opposite sides are equal. The opposite, the opposite sides are equal and parallel. Sides are equal and, and parallel. parallel. I'm just going to put this on the drawing. So this side is equal to this side and parallel. 
Also, this side is equal to this side and they are parallel. Do you agree? Yes. Great. Yeah. Let us now write the features of the square. Yeah, help me. What does a square four have? Right angle. Yeah, very good. Quadrilateral with four right angles. So with one, four. it has four right angles. Number two. Four equals sides. Four equals sides. Four equals four sides. Equal sides. So our sides are equal each other. Number three. The opposite sides are equal and parallel. Are equal and parallel. Yeah, I'm just going to put this on the figure. So this side is equal to this side, which is opposite to it. But also this side is equal to this side, which is uh, opposite to it. And all of them are equal, right? Yes. Yeah, let us start um, matching. So we are asking ourselves a question. Is a square, just, is a square a rectangle? So we are asking ourselves, guys mute yourself. I can see it, I can hear the voices, yeah. Is a square a rectangle? When I say a square is a rectangle, I have to go backward. So I need to ask myself, are the features of a rectangle found in a square? Yalla, let us see. So I'm going to match. The rectangle, it has four right angles. Does the square have four right angle? Yes. So here it's yes. found. In number two, we have the opposite sides are equal and parallel. Is it found in a square? Yes. yes. So I want to ask you a question. Are all the features of a rectangle found in the features of a square? Yes. Then a square is a rectangle. It's a rectangle with four equal sides. Exactly. So did you get it, guys? Yes. Now yes. I'm going to flip my yes. question. I'm going to flip my question. OK? Look what I'm going okay. to ask you right now. Yeah. I'm going now to ask you a different question. Is a rectangle a square? No. Yes. What I'm trying to, to, to explain, let us check if this is correct. All the features of the square should be found in the? Rectangle. Yalla. Then, a square, it has four right angles. Does a rectangle has four right angles? Yes. It's found here. Uh, a square has four equal sides. Can we find here four equal sides? No. no. Oh, so a, a rectangle is no. not a square because not no. all the features of the square are found in the features of the rectangle. Is okay. it clear for everyone? So now we have no. learned two things. What are they? A rectangle is not a square. And the square it is a rectangle. So pay attention to this trick. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, let us continue now. Just a second. And in, never mind, we're going to work a lot of these, Yali. Okay? Okay, so now we'll continue to learn one new quadrilateral, which is? Which trapezoid. Is a trapezoid, very good. A trap, trapezoid. The trapezoid, the only thing which is special in a trapezoid that only one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Only those two are parallel. Let us give a name for this trapezoid. So suppose that this trapezoid is called A, B, C, D. Can C, you see it? D. Yes. So only A, B, and D, C are parallel. Only. Okay? So nothing special about this 
uh, only AB is parallel to DC. Is it clear? Yes. So what did we learn till now? That the trapezoid only has one side that is parallel. So we have learned only three uh, quadrilaterals, the square, the rectangle, and now the trapezoid. Is it clear for everyone? Are you listening me, to me, guys? Yes. Is everything clear? Yes. Yes. Type great. Yeah. Let me continue. So let us look at these. Let me just clear now. And then look at from one minute, the electricity went off. It's okay. Yala. Is this a trapezoid? Yes. Yes, of course, because we have only one opposite side. One side that the are parallel. Two, the others two, I, I don't care about them, if they are parallel or not. Because it if has they only... Move, they intersect. Mm. So only this side is parallel to this side. So yes, it's a trapezoid. Yeah. Is everything clear to now? Yes. So uh, how many quadrilaterals did we learn? Did we learn? Three. three the yeah. square, the rectangle, the rectangle, rectangle and the trapezoid. trapezoid. So we have learned three out of? Five. Excellent, five. five. Yeah, now let us learn the fourth one, which is the rhombus, or in another word, the diamond. You know the diamond, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. That's the diamond, the diamond shape or it's also called a rhombus, okay, a rhombus. So the rhombus, as you can see, it's a diamond shape. It has four equal sides, but it doesn't have any right angle, huh? Yes. So what can we say about the rhombus? It has four equal sides, and the opposite sides are parallel. So it looks like a rectangle, but what makes a rectangle, uh, sorry, it looks like a square, but what makes a square special is that a square, it has four right angles. This doesn't have four right angles. By the rhombus, it doesn't have four right angles. Is it clear? Yes. And now the last shape we're going to talk about, it's a parallelogram. parallelogram. It has only opposite sides are equal and parallel. So I'm just going to, Lana, 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 I have to keep quiet. Just a second. I wanna draw a parallelogram. So. I'm not going to do the rotate, so I prefer an earth one Just a second. So this is one side. This is an equal side to it and parallel. I'm going here to draw another side and here another side. And this is a parallelogram. What does a parallelogram has? It has only the opposite sides equal and parallel. We have seen this in the rectangle, but the rectangle, it has four, right? Angles. Angle. angles. Very good. Okay. But this is a parallelogram. It has only opposite sides, equal and parallel. Now, guys, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to continue explanation. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to tell you to study something because I know that you have quiz on Thursday and maybe you are studying for the quiz. But this lesson is very important. You have to know every detail in the, in the, in the lesson. Okay, you should not forget any hint in the lesson. Okay, okay. okay. I, I just want to take the attendance before I, I talk to you. Just a second. Um, so today we are 30 March. Less in uh, three, eight, twelve.
Really? 